Alrighty then. Everything should be recording properly. Hopefully the audio is good. It looks like it's good. Um, hopefully everything runs smoothly. Uh, last time, I didn't really have any issues. Um, but I'm not entirely sure that the game is going to get more intense. So hopefully it doesn't. Um, but anyways. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Endling. Extinction is forever. Uh, last time we left off, we got about two weeks into the game. Um, and we're still trying to find our missing cub. Or kit, or whatever. Um, whatever it's called. But, um, this time around, I don't have much time to record, but I wanted to get at least something done today. So, I'm probably only going to get about 45 minutes in. Um, as long as I get into it, like, right now. So, I'm not good with intro, so let's just jump into it. Right. This time around, I want to get to the second, uh, thing. Wait. Where's it telling me to go? Oh, this way. Um... Before I do anything, I want to make sure um, I know where the lair is. Um, okay. It seems like it's somewhere like in like right next to the thing so I need to go up and I need to go down man food is not prevalent whatsoever okay I need to keep going this way Going this way. Um, I think I need to do something with the badger, but I'm not entirely sure. Like, I, I think I read that there's an achievement that you need to save the badger from an entrapment. I don't think I can go down that way, so I need to circle around probably. Let me look at the map a little bit closer. Okay. So if I keep going to the right... Okay, it looks like they fired something off. I don't know why. Can I not go this way? Apparently not. Now I'm injured, because of course I am. Diet. 
Can they not jump down here? Not good. Um, I don't know how to get around. Because th there's no clear way to get to where I need to go because the the cubs aren't able to jump down. It's too high of a jump. Okay, now I'm here. I don't know. I'm gonna die. Come on, hurry up. Okay, why can I not go that way? I'm gonna... I'm gonna die. Mainly... Mainly because every pathway is blocked off. These nights do not last. They last maybe like five minutes at a time. Hurry up. This is not really all that fun when the nights last like maybe like two seconds at a time because there's no way to possibly survive Like, how do I, how do I get around to the other thing? I'm not entirely sure.
the other way. I don't know how to get to the other layers because the thing should be open. Like the pathway should be open, but it's not for whatever reason. Keep going to the left. Can't do certain actions while carrying one of your cubs. Well, good for me. Loading screen. Night 12. There we go. I was wondering when that was going to open up. Um, I should probably go this way. There's an owl nearby. I think. Crud. I didn't notice it until it was too late. Now I'm limping, because of course I am. What happened? Not even entirely sure. Oh, here's a lair. Find all traces of the missing cub in the river area and reach the second layer. Oh, did they just eat? I'm not entirely sure. There we go. Oh, cutscene.
Or is it turning to spring? I think so. Close enemies can hear you. Night 13. Alright, so let me look at the map. There's another layer up top. The badger is gone, so I missed out on that, but... Whatever. Come on. That's that. So now I need to go back the way I just was. If I can even get up there. I'm not even sure. It might be too high of a jump. So I might actually be trapped. No, they can get up. Okay, good. I know this is an achievement for... Entering a lair fully fed. Alright. Um. Okay. Well, there's like a ton of things around. There we go. I was wondering whether or not the thing would do it, but I wanted to get that achievement. When it takes the scavenger one shot to kill you? Okay. That's good to know. Okay, there's two events over there. I don't think there's anything else up in that tree.
Oh, that's the scavenger over there. Probably shouldn't go near him. There's an event there, but I also don't want to go near the scavenger. So, it's kind of a dilemma. I also don't know if the scavenger moves um, before the thing. Okay, that's a dead end. So, I gotta be careful I don't get too close to the scavenger. Can't get through there. Well, it's already halfway through the night already. That was very good for me. Um, okay, if I keep going around, should be able to circle back around to the lair, I think. Um, because... To loop me back around. I'm not gonna get that just yet. Oh, this is blocked off. God dang it. Or is it? Oh no, th the other way is blocked off. Okay, good. I was gonna say, are you serious? There'd be no way I could get back around, but no, I'm good. I don't think I can get near the that event because the scavenger is right there. Okay, I'm gonna make my way back to the lair because it's getting late. I have to remember to go back the way I just was because there's several food sources. Are you serious? Oh god! Kidding me? Like, what the frick, man? Like, you're like right outside my lair. Now I need to go all the way back around. 
That sucks. That really does. Because now the night is going to end. And I'm not even close to my lair. I have to circle all the way back around. Thank you, game, for putting a barrier in my way. That's annoying. That's annoying game design. Because I thought all I had to worry about was a scavenger on this night. But no. It wants me to go all the way around again. So now I need to go to the left. See, now he's gone. Like, I swear to God, if he's moving, like, the way I'm going now, I'm going to be freaking upset. Because I shouldn't have to circle all the way back around. Like, I should have been in my lair at this point. Like, I don't have time. Really? No, but like, really. What the heck? See, now I'm trapped. I'm trapped by that guy. I'm trapped by the furrier. I'm trapped by the scavenger. Like, there's no way I can get around. So basically saying I'm screwed. Because now if I go back the way I just was, the furrier is going to be there still, probably. If I had to assume anything, probably. Well, now I want to go up here and grab the piece of food. I hear footsteps. Okay, that's the dude. I'm pretty sure. So if I go this way, he should be gone now. There we go. Took me way too long. Okay. So I'm going to end it there. Unfortunately, I do not have much time. I was going to go for about 45 minutes, but I think the game is starting to ramp up um, with the dangers. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of research to see what I need to do next because I'm not entirely sure. It seems like a lot of the pathways are blocked off um, at the moment. So I probably need to find more pieces of evidence of the missing cub um, I don't know where those are though. Um, see me how it took me a really long time to get all the pieces from the first area. I'm pretty sure I missed out on the badger, um, side quest thing. Um, because I think after a certain point it disappears. So I, I think I might have missed out on it, but I wasn't really planning on doing a 100% playthrough on this. Um, but stay tuned if I continue this. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to. Um, the first episode did really well. 
Um, it exceeded my expectations, but I don't know about the second episode. It's honestly going to depend on how it does on how on how it performs. If it does about the same amount of views, I'll continue it. If it doesn't, then I won't. It, it honestly just depends. So bear with me and we'll go from there. But in the meantime, thank you everyone for watching. I'm not good with outros, so I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.